Hi, I'm Christian Lippi. Welcome to Imagine Oceans. I am a certified scuba diver and I made this film because I am passionate about marine biology and exploring the coral reefs. Earlier this year, I traveled to Honduras to research the lionfish problem in the Caribbean. I made this film on land and underwater. I hope you like it. You're about to meet the lionfish. Their native habitat is the Pacific Ocean. They are aquarium fish, beautiful and fun to look at. But they are now invading the Caribbean Sea. They destroy life on the coral reefs. They eat their weight in other fish and they will sting humans. And that's just the start of it. We decided to look into this problem and shot an underwater video in Honduras, Central America. We also conducted interviews with experts at the Scripps Institute of Oceanography in San Diego, California. We started our adventure by flying from New York City to Houston, Texas, and then took a small plane to Honduras to reach the remote island of Utila in the Caribbean Sea. Utila is a paradise for scuba divers. It's located in the deep waters of the Cayman Trench in the Caribbean Sea. This healthy coral reef is full of life, and we were able to film many amazing sea creatures, such as huge moray eels, many species of jellyfish, loggerhead turtles, giant spotted eagle rays, and a wide range of other small tropical fish, including an entire family of squid. This delicate ecosystem depends on a healthy coral reef as a source of food, energy, and shelter. And it is here where our amazing underwater exploration began. My dad and I are certified scuba divers and we made many dives on Utila Island. We were able to explore the reef and survey the damage being done by the lionfish firsthand. I also learned a lot about the problem by interviewing scientists at the Scripps Institute in San Diego, the largest oceanic research facility in the country. This lionfish problem is essentially uh, has an impact in the uh, reef on the outer side of the uh, United States, the Caribbean area. And uh, the word is that, uh, or the suspicion is that, although not proven, is that it has been released by uh, by some occurrence or maybe a flight came in the recurrent and then it got, got off. But then the genetic uh, analysis that they've done surprisingly come from like six or seven animals. They are invasive and they did not evolve with the rest of the community in that reef. So those fish that lives in that area, when they see a lionfish, they are naive to that animal. So as, as such, they, they are easily being uh, preyed upon. Local divers in Honduras tell the story. A few years ago, they were surprised to suddenly see lionfish in the Caribbean. They belong in the Pacific Ocean their natural habitat, where they fit into the balance of nature. But they have now been brought to the Caribbean, where they are attacking our delicate reefs, eating almost everything in sight, and because of their poisonous spines, virtually nothing here will eat them. As a result, the lionfish invasion has become a real threat to the coral reefs of the Caribbean. At first, many people thought this was just a fluke. Lionfish were first spotted in Florida around 1992, just after Hurricane Andrew broke some aquariums that held the species. Well, it is a very sensitive area. It's much like the uh, tropical rainforest. And along with it, probably uh, it, it will cause a kind of a cascading kind of a reaction. But since around 2000, divers, fishermen, and scientists have become increasingly concerned. On some reefs, where they would see one or two lionfish, they began seeing dozens and dozens of these creatures. And they're now calling it an infestation. So if, that's, if that base is gone, then um, that, that whole chain of a food web will, you know, it will, will be uh, disrupted. It turns out that these beautiful lions of the sea take no prisoners. They eat anything in sight and multiply like there's no tomorrow and grow and spread. It's been called a kind of biological pollution. Stranger still, scientists studying their DNA are finding that virtually all of them, 
traced back to just six or seven original lionfish released into the Atlantic Caribbean area. During our dives in Honduras, we witnessed firsthand how local divers and researchers are dealing with this problem. As these videos illustrate, they're on a mission to capture and haul away as many lionfish as they can. These researchers now go out on search and destroy dives in Honduras and all throughout the Caribbean. They're coming back with dozens upon dozens of these fish, but they know they can't get them all. We are now realizing the magnitude of the problem. The lionfish are dramatically reducing native fish populations and it's very disturbing. Many local governments are joining together to start organized lionfish eradication efforts. We hope it's not too late to deal with this problem and protect our coral reefs. Through the study of marine biology and ecosystems, our generation can raise awareness of these types of threats and help protect our underwater environment.